Melody, how would yes. you like to play Three Question Thursday? I would love to, Noreen. Wonderful. You know, I could not help when I saw your Instagram. How many times you take a trip to Trader Joe's? <laughs> I, oh, that is a, I that told is a you I got to ask you about this and I didn't get to it yet. So yeah. What do you get at Trader Joe's? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I've done a few like little videos on those because there's so many fun, bright options at Trader Joe's. Not everybody has a Trader Joe's. So I feel bad for anybody who doesn't. I'm so sorry, but they are. And you can find a lot of those things at health food stores too. Trader Joe's has a good way of like taking a product and remaking it theirs you know, they're kind of like copying products and remake it theirs and they do a great job. So yeah. Oh, there's all sorts of fun things. Then I have some videos on like my bright finds, so you can like check out more, but I have uh, a couple different things if you want to like check them out. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I was just creating my freezer as to get a couple things to show you. So, um, you know, one thing they do, which I think is kind of fun is they take there's a lot of different options to wrap things in, right? So, um, you know, we don't have the non bread. Can I say bread? We don't eat bread. So we need to figure out how to hold a lot of things. So um, they have these jicama wraps. Mm -hmm. And if you tried those, I've got, I see some nods. The jicama wraps are really great. It's just thinly sliced jicama that they have in a little circle and it's really crunchy. So it's like, you can make tacos. So um, you know, you put your meat or you could do veggies, you could do shrimp, whatever you'd like in there, beans for your protein, add some grilled vegetables, wrap it up and eat it like a taco. And I feel like I'm not missing out. They're kind of fun. They're crunchy. They can get a little moist. So I add like a little, um, someone gave me the idea of adding a little piece of tissue paper in there. So I add tissue paper there. So it doesn't get as like soggy. Mm -hmm. Um, but these are fun. Like we're doing steak tacos tonight. So I'm going to use those. <laughs> But, you know, my husband doesn't do Brantley eating, so he's got his shell and I can do those. And I feel like I'm eating just like everybody else in my family, you know, that's like so nice. I'm the only one doing Brantley eating here, too. So I understand yeah. it's nice yeah. to, to fit in. Right. Yeah, I, exactly. I think that's what my favorite food is stuff like that, where you, you know, like, I mean, a hot dog that I wrap in like a lettuce leaf or a hamburger is like my favorite thing. I could eat hamburgers every week. Um, you know, wrap that in another like romaine lettuce or some sort of lettuce leaf. And to me, I feel like it's just as good. I don't miss it. I don't miss the bun. Um, you know, this is another product that I just started using. They're kind of fun. They're these like egg wraps too. And I got this at target. Um, but um, Trader Joe's has a product like this and they're egg whites. So egg whites, I don't know if everybody knows, but you can have for like, you can have, so one egg is normally two ounces and right. that's, you know, one protein or, or half a protein. So you can have four ounces for one serving of egg whites. So it's a lot more quantity if you're a quantities person. So I just weigh this just like it's um, just like it's an egg white. So there's one of these for one ounce. So you can have two of these wraps for like, oh. Yeah. So it's kind of like using one egg. Um, so they're kind of fun. You want to put, like I put like, uh, you know, some sausage in there, some grilled vegetables and wrap it up for like a breakfast taco or a breakfast burrito. And a lot of people use these. This is not Trader Joe's version. This is outer aisle. This is Trader Joe's copy. They, they copied outer aisle. Mm -hmm. um, it's like sandwich thins. So these sandwich thins are really pretty like there's not a lot in them. It's mostly cauliflower. So it's cauliflower, but it has eggs in it and also milk, cheese. So, so we use it as a protein, right? So I use two for half a protein and four ounces of vegetables. Um, that's what they had recommended, um, for these before on our official, you know, group, um, somebody had asked, um, since that group went away, I want to double check it, but I can't find it now, but I'm pretty sure that's the, um, that's how you would break it down. So yeah. two of them for one serving and they're really tasty. I make these with like, this is like my pizza, right? So I put on like the pizza sauce, um, some grill, some vegetables, and I still have a half a protein serving, you know, left over, um, for cheese or whatever you want to put. So those are fun. You can get these in the freezer section, kind of like the Ezekiel bread where that is. Yeah. And I get it Safeway. Um, I got a bunch of these, freeze them. They last forever, but you can get those at Trader Joe's. Okay. Well, those are some good finds. Good mm -hmm. ideas of how to wrap things. 
Okay, mm -hmm. question number two. Do you have a favorite mantra that you I think use? The un time? Yeah, I mean, I think the unstoppable one, right? Like, so that we're unstoppable and we can do hard things. I don't know how many times I've gone back to that we can do hard things because I never believed that one, right? That was one of those, uh, yeah, that, yeah, right. Like I, I'm not one of those people and, and I've, you know, failed at so many things. Like I can't, I can't lose a hundred pounds. There's no way. Um, but the more you start to do the actions, the more you start to kind of believe in yourself. Right. And, and the more I go, I can do hard things. Like, Quitting sugar and flour is not easy when we live in a culture where it is everywhere. And all of my favorite like cultural things have to do with food. And I really have to, and I have a kid. I want to experience all those fun, like cultural things with him, like all of the Easter and like right. the Thanksgiving and all the stuff. And, and I've, you know, make the stuff right. And I'm trying to look at things in a different way, right? So I, we can do hard things. I go to parties and I say, no, thank you to the hard things, right? We are unstoppable. It's amazing once you commit to something and you really show consistency, what you can do. Like it's the more you do it, the more you gain confidence, you can do it. Um, but it's it, de it definitely takes time before your thoughts and your feelings start to come around. It's really about action first. So the I am unstoppable. We can do hard things or like I go back to that all, all the time. When you go back, this is question three. When you think about that melody, putting that video together that with your wise, what do you say to her today? Yeah, that is a really good question, because looking at that video and watching it, I was on the verge of tears. The whole video, I felt like I was just about to cry any second. And, and looking back at it, I just was so scared. I was so scared. Um, you know, if I was to go back to her and talk to her is to try to give her some strength and to go like, you can do this, right? And to tell her, just take it a day at a time, like a step at a time. You're going, you're going to do great things, but you're not going to believe it yet, but you will get there and just be caring and loving to yourself in the process. When you fall, you're going to fall. We all are going to fall. How do I get myself up without, you know, and brush myself off and keep on going is really what I would tell her is you're going to fall and it's okay. You're going to get back up. And you're going to keep on going because you're important. You matter and you can do hard things, right? I would go back and I would tell her um, and just give her a big hug and, and tell her thank you for, you know, for everything that she's done, right? She's really taken a lot of punches in life and she has like, you know, been there through the whole thing and given me, you know, I've had this, you know, this body that, you know, I felt trapped in, um, but she had the strength to start something really hard. She had the strength to, to pick herself up off the floor and to do the hard things and go up and down those stairs and, yeah. <laughs> and really push herself to doing before believing, right? Just doing. So I would tell her, thank you. Thank you for for being there and thank you for, you know, really having the strength and bravery to know you're worth it and really try, really try. Well, Melody, I think that I would speak for many, I would say thank you to her too, because you are bringing so much joy to people by sharing of yourself at your Instagram, you know, the, the food that you share, just this beautiful, colorful food. And now we understand why you go with the colors, the phytonutrients, yeah. that you have right. a purpose for it, not purpose. just to look pretty, but, <laughs> but that is, and it's beautiful and it's tasty and you're so fun on there, the reels, and you give people hope. I want to tell that Melody, thank you too, for mm. so many people. So, and again, thank you for sharing your story and thank you for playing Three Question Thursday. It's been so great to know you.
I appreciate you, Noreen. You're doing great work. And thank you so much. Big hugs to you and for everything you're doing for this community and spreading the word about, you know, sugar and flour. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Have a good night and stay bright.